Welcome back to Gadget Guru and it's time now for some real breaking news. This is Rajiv Makni. You've heard his views on all Mac products, you've heard his views on the iPad. Now this man has just gone out and bought an iPad. No, again, let me again. You have gone out and bought an iPad. Not for myself. Oh, okay. did you buy like it I said, like I said, uh, the iPad is a very interesting device, an interesting toy, so I bought it for somebody. That actually is the right thing. He claims he trip. bought it for his daughter. All those who believe that, write into <laughs> us. If you don't believe it into it, don't believe in it, write into us as well. But I tell you what, yeah. I have figured out why you would have bought an iPad. Okay, for my daughter, thing, yes. But <laughs> if, you're, if you really expect us to believe, if you're, if you're buying iPads for your daughter, you're really spoiling her, Rajiv. No, no, you and no, I need no, to have no, a conversation. No, no, no. This. Uh, look at she's the kind six. of software I have. She's five or five. six. She's five. You're buying her iPads, you're spoiling her. So you bought it for yourself. And the reason I suspect you bought it for okay. yourself was because of the gaming on it, right? The iPad does make a really good gaming For device. the apps and the games for her. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> But now, you know, there are Indian companies and a lot of them are starting to actually make games. And brilliant iPad, games, really shockingly games. great games. In fact, I think we're doing our first ever iPad gaming review. Karan has an iPad and he's showing us HD badminton, all developed by an Indian company. Yes, Rajiv, one game where India is not just doing wonders on the real court, but on the virtual one as well. And as you said, this is indeed our very first iPad game, Super Badminton HD 2010. Now initially this game was in fact made for the iPod and the iPhone platform by a Pune based firm Rollicule. But incidentally it became the highest selling badminton game ever. So with the release of iPad, here's the HD version on a bigger canvas. A high definition game specially developed for Apple iPad, Super Badminton HD 2010's biggest strength lies in the fact that it comes close to capturing the essence of badminton on a virtual platform. To start with, you have an up-to-date rule book, 8 uniquely gifted players, 5 difficulty levels and 5 different surfaces. Now here is something really funny that I've noticed. Now since the game is not an officially licensed version, the Indian sensation Saina becomes a Sonia. And the famous Thomas Cup in the world of badminton becomes the Thompson Cup. But while players look unreal, the virtual 3D courts do simulate the real badminton stadiums. The player movement is also coordinated via one touch directional pad which can be changed into a virtual joystick. The shuttlecock physics simulation has also been optimized to run 10 times faster using the accelerometer to maneuver the in-flight direction. But even though badminton is the fastest racket sport in the world, there are only 3 shots available at your disposal, making the gameplay a little restrictive. Also, the game is not free on the App Store and will cost you nearly $5, which in other words mean that you will have to spend nearly 250 rupees if you are a huge badminton fan. And now it's time to check out what else is happening in the world of gaming in this week's gaming news, including the launch of the new Xbox 360 in India. The new Xbox 360 Slim is expected to hit the Indian market by the end of this month as Microsoft has announced the availability of the new 250 GB version by the end of August 2010. And if the new Xbox 360 was pepped up to a whopping 250 GB, Sony has just decided to upstage with the announcement of a new 320 GB bundle model to be made available to the users by September 2010 in US. 